Hi friends, Teacher Cheryl here with Little and Pierce County, a program powered by Green Trike and brought to you through the generosity of our sponsors and our partners to whom we say thank you. Have you ever touched a jellyfish? Have you seen one floating and swimming in the water or at the aquarium? Jellyfish are fascinating creatures and today our story and our activity are about jellyfish. Do you know that jellyfish were around even before dinosaurs and they're still around today? Isn't that amazing? Our story today is a narwhal and jelly book by Ben Clanton, and this one is called Narwhal, Unicorn of the Sea. And it's a chapter book, so I chose a chapter to read to you. And it's called Narwhal's Pod of Awesomeness. Hey, Narwhal, why are you looking under that rock? Says Jellyfish. Ahoy, Jelly! I'm looking for my pod. Your pod? Yup. I read on the net the other day that narwhals usually travel in groups called pods. Oh, look, narwhal has a computer under the ocean. Do you think that would work? I seem to be missing mine, so I'm looking for it. Uh, narwhal? I'm not sure you'll find a narwhal pod around here. You're the only narwhal I've ever seen. In that case, I guess I'll make a pod. Ah, when you have a problem, you can think of lots of ways to solve them, huh? Make a pod? Sure, and I know just who will want to join. Uh, shark! Is jelly feeling. This is going to be podtastic. Ahoy, shark! What's up, narwhal? Make it a pod. Want to join? For shark. Just put this on. Gnarly. Ahoy, turtle. Want to be in our pod? Turtley! <laughs> oh, they're all getting narwhal horns, huh? <laughs> Come be in our pod, Mr. Blowfish. Okay. Now there's the blowfish. Ah, oh, but look at Jelly's face. Hmm. What do you think is happening there? Octopus, your garden is amazing. So is our pod. You should join it. Oh, yeah. Tentacular. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Look at Jelly's face. He's just feeling stronger and stronger. Narwhal, says Jelly. Aren't you going to ask me to join? Oh, so he is feeling left out, huh? That's a hard feeling. Oh, hmm, I didn't ask. I guess I thought we were making the pod together. You do want to be part of our pod, right, Jelly? Um, well... <laughs> Everybody's smiling. What does a pod do exactly? He asks. I'm not really sure, but I imagine a pod plays ultimate cannonball, eats waffles, fights crime, and has super awesome parties. I do love parties, says Jellyfish. Podtastic. <laughs> That's funny. What happens when you feel left out? You feel really sad and sometimes angry too, huh? And 
then I was really glad to see that Jelly said something. He didn't just swim away and feel bad, but he said something to his friend, and then it turned out okay. Huh? So I thought that how we could make a jellyfish is that we could make a jellyfish to play with in the water, either in your bath or in a swimming pool or in a sink, however it would work at your house. So what I did was I made a water balloon to be the body of my jellyfish. And I didn't have any, but I thought if you have like a glow stick or some um, glow-in-the-dark stars or something, before you fill it up with water, you might want to put a few of those in your balloon and then fill it up with water and tie it. And then your jellyfish could have what's called bioluminescence, which is a chemical that some animals make, especially animals that live in the ocean, so that they glow where it's dark, because it's dark down deep in the ocean, isn't it? And so if you want to do that, that's another thing you can do for fun. And then I wanted to make some tentacles, and I wanted my tentacles to be colorful. So I got a plastic bag. This is a bread bag that has some nice dark purple color on it. And what we're going to want to do with that is we are going to want to cut some into strips to make the nice long tentacles. So I'm taking my scissors and I'm going to cut some strips of plastic. And I thought that a bag would be a good thing to use because it won't get all drippy and wet in the water if you're going to play with it in the water. You could also use string or yarn or something like that. It's just going to be a little bit messier. So then we'll just tie some of our tentacles onto our jelly. And it probably is easiest if you tie your tentacles, and maybe you need help tying, or maybe you already know how to tie, but if you tie them up above your knot here that you've tied to keep the water in your balloon, they're going to stay on better. Oh, I want some longer ones, I think, so I'm going to turn my bag the other direction and cut a couple of longer tentacles to add to my jellyfish. And then the other thing I was wondering is, would you want a face on your jellyfish? The jellyfish in our story today had a really expressive face, didn't he? He showed what he was feeling, whether he was happy or thought something was funny or was really angry or worried. His face had a lot of expressions on it. I'm going to say that if you want to draw a face on your jelly, you're probably going to want to ask to use a Sharpie marker because that will stay on the plastic of the balloon the best way. And it might even be a little smeary, even a Sharpie might be a little smeary on a balloon. But I'm going to try it because I think I'd like my jelly fish to have a happy face. So there it is. All the jellyfish are swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. All the jellyfish are swimming in the water. Oh, bubble, 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 pop. All right, there's my jellyfish. And I think that he might be a pretty fun bath toy. So I hope you have fun making a jellyfish and playing with it in the water. Bye, friends. Thanks for listening and watching. I hope you liked the story and the activity.